All right, welcome to a brand new day. Let's see how much we can stretch our brains today. Um, yeah, let me get the camera set up and I'm gonna to try to walk you through the best I can. All right, let's see how well this works. All right, what I've already started doing is I've started cutting out sections before I even go ahead and start cutting the arc that goes around the outside. And the reason why I'm doing this is because, I, like I said yesterday, I've got one chance to get this right. So, this has already been cut and removed. And that part of the aileron is going to become a permanent part of the wing. So I've already got my indicator mark set up on where everything eventually is going to go back into place. What I had to do, because this piece here, in place, what I had to do, because this piece here, you see, it's not square, my focus, there we go, it's not square. That's what it is, come on, there we go. So once again, welcome to the Bud's world. All right, after probably about oh my gosh almost an hour of trying to yeah this is the battle I have in my mind um, trying to figure out how I want to address getting everything set up and this is for me trying to explain it's difficult too uh, what I think I'm gonna do and this is gonna get really kind of sketchy but I can still use this piece right here as an indicator. I can make marks across here so that everything's going to line up nicely again. I mean right here, there's a section right there where I know that's going to line up against the rear of the spar. Um, I'm just going to cut this whole piece off because the problem I'm having, wow, earthquake, because the problem I'm having is how it's going to join up in here. The bottom, I'm not having an issue with it. It's got to do with the down curve on the top of the wing. Is that I think, and I pretty much know, I'm going to have to come in and do something with the leading edge of this uh, rib that's built in here because I need to have this start to taper, if I do this right, taper in this direction earlier um, because it's just not enough. It's, it's set up like a candy bar wing. Uh, where everything's the same with the exception of when you get out here that this extends farther out instead of just coming straight across this way um, so yeah we're gonna go for it I will let you find people partake in the melee just as long as I'm not gonna hit that with that let's give it a shot see what happens the halo in my head again. Problem with having a small shot. Okay, it's cut and it's uh, it was actually cut quite well. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and I think I'm going to use what's left of that balsa that was glued on as part of just a, an end rib where it's going to be a little bit stronger uh, plus it'll give me a good gluing surface uh, to the spar because that way Instead of having a thin little gluing surface, I've got a great big one. So let me uh, try to figure out how I'm going to work with this. <laughs> All right, I've been working on this for probably another hour-ish or longer. I've lost track of time down here. Um, let me show you the best I can of where I'm at. And this is where it's going to get interesting. Okay, here's kind of where we're at, and I still have some questions that I need to deal with internally. Um, I'm pretty happy with the, the rear part of the wing uh, on how this is set up. Uh, here's, a, here's a little quarter rib, if you want to call it that. I'm going to have to put another little one from here 
back to here because when the fabric goes across the top I don't want this corner popping out so I've got to put a short little one on the top short little one on the bottom and just sand it to fit it doesn't need to be quarter inch uh, but I'll probably make a quarter inch anything that's going to add a little bit more strength to this makes me just a little bit more happier okay now as we go along of course you can see I don't have anything set in here but already it, it's pretty darn stiff I mean it's it's moving the wing so I just have to come in and from this bar and from this bar it's to run the little cross beams out from here here top and bottom so that's easy that I'm not concerned about that at all what I'm really still concerned about let me turn this around is this and I have to figure out how I want to work with this uh, because I do have the rib in here it's and it's kind of buried and I'm trying to figure out how I want to work with this because up here this is just balsa fill but as soon as I get up to here I want this to drop a little bit more so what I may do and this is how my little brain works I may come in with the zona saw and make a couple little cuts down inside here so I can flex this down to see how well that works otherwise I've got to come in cut this try to lift this the best I can remove a section or sand it down and then lay it back down inside again I can do that if I have to I'm trying not to do that right now so this will be something that I will be working on uh, once again off camera and I'll show you guys when it's done but I mean right now I'm I'm happy with the hoop on the wing it's uh, it's rock solid so just brings in a little bit more confidence where I was still kind of questioning things over analyzing from what my friends tell me so anyway that's where we're at right now and let me uh, let me take a little lunch break and I'll come on back down and let's see if I can figure out how to address this situation up here all right not some of my prettiest work on how I did it so here's what we've got we've got set up so the top and bottom are pretty good be balsa filler top balsa filler on the bottom and then it's just a matter of hooking this up on the side through the spars now here's the ugly side of things right now this is what I had to do um, just so that I can make let's just say make the rib a little bit sh shorter not tall I mean not lengthwise height wise um, up in the front so that way we do have a nice little drop down so when I fill this full of balsa it's gonna fill full of balsa out to here and then we're gonna have a little teeny section of balsa where it's gonna trail off see if I could do the trail off like this as well on here so we're gonna blend all this in and then it's gonna be a matter of getting the back end uh, you know tidied up so we're close to being done close to being done all right we had a successful day and you saw how much time I was working on this I made something there we go that looks like that and turned it into something that looks like that so let me go ahead take the camera off the stand see how well I can do explaining what I went through to get it that way all right what I had to do was you guys saw the initial part where I had to cut the leading edge away and what I was going to do uh, to go ahead and and get this set up um, you saw how I made the little slits in the side and then took some spray just pretty much warm water pneumonia uh, sprayed it down let everything get loose and then I compressed it down glued it and then I ended up doing it like you would do with a, a shear web uh, just pretty much glued a piece of uh, I think it's 330 seconds balsa on the top of that just to make sure everything is completely locked into place so we've got a good radius everything's uh, looked good so I took some quarter stock uh, some plank uh, just cut it to the proper angle glued that in place sanded it down so it was flush on the front and where it kind of just edged off onto the, uh, the hoop <clears throat> same exact thing on the bottom except the bottom piece went easier than the top piece go figure so then the whole thing where everything gets tied in back here so I've got some clear tape so if it looks kind of funky down here it's a clear tape um, 
This was the initial spot because I had to take like a like a two-thirds or a third rib. Uh, glued that into place, came down, and that ended up being the end cap for this, for the hoop. Um, so then took a piece of quarter balsa, cut it out to this shape. Uh, my little artistic side of me made this angle. No French curves. Um, and then glued in another piece of uh, quarter inch. Um, so this is where this, right here, this is where the fabric's going to wrap over the top. So this is where it's going to drop down onto the onto the hoop. Uh, these are the little end, whatever you want to call them, brackets. Um, so I went ahead, cut these to shape to fit into place, glued those all in, and uh, yeah, called it a day. So that this one is done. So I'm happy with the way it came out. So I'm going to go ahead, and even though I didn't make any cut templates, I know exactly how I put this one together, and we're going to do that to those three. So anyway, seeing that that did take a pretty much a full day. Well, actually two days, because I started this yesterday. So that was pretty much two days just to figure out how I wanted to put this together. And then uh, now that it's done, I know how I'm going to do the rest. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be, but it's because I took the time to try to figure out how I wanted to do it and limited the amount of changes I did. Now you guys saw that the big change I was going to do, and that was right here on camera, um, how I was going to go ahead and, and take care of the end piece, which was this little block, how I said I was going to pretty much cut this out first, then cut this off. Um, and I decided to cut this off first because it did two things. Um, because it was the final rib on the wing, it was still a full length rib. So this kind of gave me the template for a rib. So that was why I'm like going, if I cut this off now and I need to go ahead and make a rib or make a shorter rib or a lower one, I can use this as a template and make one. But I just decided to go ahead and cut the one that was there uh, just to see if that would work first. And it did work. So that's what I'm gonna do on the other ones too. I just got a, just a little mental note um, on how much I cut for a slat because I think I cut five five or six slits across and then I removed two of them so that's what gave me you know it's probably pretty close to an eighth inch uh, on the top and the bottom and when I compress those um, it compressed really nice so so anyway yeah that's about it so it was a good day down the video and uh, yeah I'll probably only bring you back for the other three uh, wings if something terribly goes wrong. Yeah, so I guess we'll just go ahead and we'll call this a video and uh, I'll see you guys next time I'm down in the shop.